a wonderful day. Uh, so let's get things started, shall we? So we're going to start off with a quick little review of a couple of things we've already learned about in the past. The first of all is uh, expanded form. Okay, we've done this many, many times. Expanded form is when you're basically, you take a given number, like in this case it's 98, and you separate that number by the value of each digit. Okay, so in this case, the nine, the value of that nine is 90. So you would write it 90 plus, and then the value of the eight, since it's in the ones place, is just eight. So again, we've seen this many, many times, taking a number, and separating it into the value of each digit and putting a plus sign in between, okay? That's the first thing we're going to talk about. The second one thing we're gonna talk about is multiplying with multiples, well, one of them is a multiple of 10, okay? And we, and we talked about this the other day as well. So let's say if you take a basic multiplication fact, like two times six. Please remember that whenever you're multiplying and one of the numbers is a two, you just double the other number. So two times six is the same as six plus six. That's just something that's kind of important to know. Okay, so, so two times six, of course, as we know, is 12, right? Two times six equals 12. So if one of your digits, and it can really be either one, is, has a zero after it, where it's a multiple of 10, it's 10 times greater. So we're gonna rewrite this where the six is 10 times greater. Now it's a 60. It's two times 60. Well, the, there's a little trick that we like to do where two times six equals 12. And if there's a zero right here, we just add a zero right here. Okay, so two times 60 is 120. And this is really gonna come in handy in today's lesson, okay? Because we are gonna be doing a lot of multiplying where one of the uh, factors, as we call this, factor times factor equals product. Uh, one of the factors is going to be a multiple of 10. So you should all have this piece of paper in front of you right now with your name on the top. And as I've said 100,000 times, um, when we're doing these videos, you're gonna have to pause this video quite a few times, okay? Um, because, uh, first of all, I'm going to have you try some of these on your own, and I will let you know which examples you're going to be trying on your own. And you're also going to have to follow along with me for other ones. So you'll know right away when, when you have to pause and when you don't. So let's take a look at this first example here. 4 times 32. Well, that seems pretty scary at first. But really what they've done was they've taken the 32, and they've written it in expanded form. 32 is 30 plus 2. Okay? So instead of just, because, you know, there's no times table that has, like, 32s on it, right? So what we do is we break it down. Okay? And so instead of multiplying 4 times 32, we're going to multiply 4 times 30 and then 4 times 2. Well, 4 times 2 is the easy one, right? That's 8. So that's the easy one. We could just write that down right away. And of course, whatever I'm writing down, you're writing down, okay? Four times 30, well, I don't know that. Well, I'll bet you you know what four times three is. Four times three is 12. But hey, there's a zero right here. So you put a zero right there, just like what we were doing in this example over here, right? Extra zero on the left, extra zero on the right. So now 4 times 30 is 120, right? Because we took 4 times 3 and we added a 0, right? So now are we done? Well, no. These, this, these are called partial products. A product right here, that's what the final product is, the final answer. But these two are partial products, and we have to add them together. So we'll put 120 as one partial product here, and eight as the other part. And boy, talk about easy addition. Holy moly. 128 is the final product. 128. And again, pause this video as many times you want. And if you need to go back a little bit, that's fine. Okay? So let's try one over here. Eight times 21. Well, off the top of my head, well, that's a little tricky. But if you take the 21 
and you write it in expanded form as 20 plus 1, it becomes a heck of a lot easier. And you can multiply whichever one you wish first. So let's do the harder one first. 8 times 20. Well, I don't know. Oh, but I know that 8 times 2 is 16. So let's pretend like that 0 wasn't there and just think that it's 8 times 2. Well, 8 times 2 is 16, but I have a 0. So I'm going to add the 0 to the 16. 8 times 20 is 16. By the way, this is called an area model. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. These are called area models. Area, you mean length times width. Heck yeah. That's why we learned area first before we, before we did this multiplication. It's literally area. Length times width. Length, 1 times 8. 8. Isn't that crazy? See how that all connects together, how we were learning about perimeter and area, and now we're taking the same idea and we're helping it to solve more complicated multiplication problems. So again, insanely, insanely easy addition. Oh my gosh, seriously? Yeah, it's 168 is the final product. And if it goes down there, put it up there, okay? You notice I put a little red star about this one. I want you to try this one on your own, okay? Following the same exact steps that we did before. Remember, do six times five, whatever this is, and you can, everybody can, can do the fives, right? Six times five or five times six, and then put a zero after that answer. That goes here. Six times two, which is the same as six plus six, goes here. Whatever your answer is here, goes here. Whatever your answer is here, goes here. And then you add them. Give it a try. Pause this video, all right? Rewind it if you want to see how I did this last one or not. You know what I mean, rewind it. It's not rewinding. Oh, my gosh. It's an old man thing to say. It's, it's, uh, but go back to this part of the video if you want to remind yourself how we did And then give this one a try, okay? When you are ready, we'll go on to the next one. Oh, and that time is right around now. So again, I'm not going to give you the answers. We're going to check this tomorrow. So I'm so if you're if you're thinking of waiting for Mr. Brown to like just give you the answer, you're copied out. You're, that's not going to happen. Okay, you have to do this one on your own. Now, oh, uh, 84 is broken down to an 80 and a four. Eight times three, knocking at the door. Who lives there? 24. But hey, there's a zero. It's not eight. It's 80. You do that too. So 3 times 80 is 24 with a 0 after it, or 240. Okay? 3 times 4 is 12. Okay? Again, still pretty darn easy addition. Nothing crazy here as far as the addition goes. And you notice how I'm lining them up like... Toy soldiers, that's right. Okay, I'm lining up like toy soldiers. Let me see if I can make this a little bit sharper here. It's a little fuzzy. Yeah, I don't know. It's about as good as it's going to get, I suppose. Uh, so, yeah, pretty darn easy, right? Two, five, two. 252. Um, here, let's do, and again, pause as many times as you need to. Here's one that we could do together. Uh, this one is 29 times 7, or 7 times 29. You can say it either way. They've taken the 29 and separated it into 20 plus 9. Okay? So, uh, 20 plus 9 is, oh, well, I don't know. 20 times 7 is, okay, I got distracted for a second. I said something wrong. Sorry, I was, just, I was looking somewhere else when I said that. Forget what I just said. 7 times 20 is just 7 times 2 with a 0 after it. Hey, folks, what's 7 plus 7? But I thought you just asked me what 7 times 2 is. 7 times 2 and 7 plus 7 are the same darn thing. You just double this number. Mr. Brown, you forgot about the 0. No, I didn't. It's that 0, right? 7 times 9. Remember the fingers trick? Oh, okay. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
Okay, this is hard because I need to be close up. So this is, I put this my seventh finger down, okay? And there's six on this side for 60, and there's three on this side. Okay, nine times seven, my seventh finger down, 63. It's 63. The fingers trick. And we're going to write the partial products right here. Ooh, I think I see a little bit of regrouping that has to happen here. Zero plus three is three. Four plus six is 10. Where does that one go? Does it go above the four or does it go above this one? Yeah, you're right. It goes over here. Okay. Sometimes you see some crazy people put the one down there, but whatever. Uh, and then one, because we can't forget about that. One plus one is two, two, oh, three. And if the answer is here, it should also go here, 203. Mr. Brown, I think I see another red star. Oh, no. Does that mean you want us to do this one? Try this on your own? I sure do. Okay. The reason why I chose this one is because there's a five over here. We can all skip count by fives. We can skip count by five nine times, then put a zero after it. That's this partial product. We can skip count by five six times and put that over here okay so this is something i chose because of the five we should all be able to do this they took the 96 broke it into a 90 plus six five times nine with a zero after it. don't forget that zero five times six over here write it one on top of the other and add again i've said it seven billion times please pause this so that you can uh, give yourself plenty of time to do this. And again, if you want to look at a previous example, go right ahead. Moving on, another star. Come on, Mr. Brown, are you being serious? Yeah, I am being serious, okay? We'll do the last one together though, just so you know I'm not a totally horrible, mean person. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna do this one too. But Mr. Brown, no, 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 no. Two times seven, well, it's 70, hold it. 2 times 7 is blank. It's the same as 7 plus 7. And then you just add a 0. Okay? The answer might be somewhere else. I don't know, I'm not going to say. I almost said too much. I almost said too much. I almost said too much. Uh, so put that right there. 2 times 7 with a 0 after it. 2 times 4, which is the same as 4 plus 4 goes there. You can do this. Right? I've practically given the half the answer away for some of you who are paying attention to what I to what I almost said, right? So pause this, do this one on your own. I truly believe you can do this. Okay? Twos are easy numbers to multiply with. Okay? But you know what? I'm assuming you paused and did that. Hey, let's uh, take a look at this one. We'll do the last one together. How's that sound? Okay? Sure, Mr. Brown. 4 times 20. Um, I could skip count by 24 times, 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, I could do that. Or I could do 4 times 2 is 8 with a 0 after it. And remember, why do we have 20 plus 8? Because it's the expanded form of 28. So we multiply 4 times 20, then we multiply 4 times 8. Again, it's called the area model, length times width, length times width. Um, eight times four um, flowers are what they grew, and on the pot it said 32. I don't know if we did, if you talked about that multiplication poem. Eight times four flowers are what they grew, and on the pot it said 32. Well, that's what it is. Eight times four is 32. Well, this is interesting um, because this is a two digit number and a two digit number. So we're going to add a two digit number and a two digit number? We sure are. Why not? Okay. 0 plus 2 is 2, 8 plus 3 is 11. And again, whatever answer goes here, goes here. And so, folks, that is it. Um, whoever collects this paper is going to check to see that this example, this one, and this one are actually completed and not blank. It is your responsibility to give these a try. And you can't say, I don't know how to do it because you can, you can go back to any other example in the entire page and listen to my beautiful and soothing voice as to how to do that. So you can 
easily give these three a try. And then tomorrow, when I see you again, we will review these three examples. So make sure you hand this paper in to the adult that is in the room right now, okay? Make sure your name is on the top. I don't really care about the date, okay? So, folks, have a wonderfully fantastic day, and I will see you tomorrow.